It is Monday and I am starting a new routine this week with the kids because we start back homeschooling in a couple of weeks. So <clears throat> I like to take a couple of weeks before we get started and just start getting back in a routine of things. So I was up at six and showered and just got done with some Bible study. Um, get in a little word and I'm hoping to get in a little exercise before the kids get up and um, make a protein shake and get some things started. <clears throat> some whiteboards written out of, of our plan for today and I'll show you what we have on our refrigerator. Um, something else that I've started to implement this week with kiddos. Turn some lights so we can see. So a new thing I am starting um, this week with the kids is this whiteboard. And it's going to say today's meals and every day I have a meal helper and that's written out in their planners with their chores so every day somebody will help me with breakfast lunch and dinner just getting that prepared and getting it on the table and helping making plates and getting it started if you know some sandwiches started at lunch or bowls of cereal this morning is what we're having which we don't do often we don't buy cereal a lot but anyway that will be helping me get it started if I'm busy doing something else, so. my oldest daughter's planner and in front of it she has written out a daily schedule and I let them do it so that it wasn't so much of a battle it's more well they're kind of taking responsibility for their own kind of thing and so we've we've got Monday what she's responsible for getting done Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and Saturday so Saturday's dog day wash the dog and wipe down her cage and stuff. Um, so the first day, Monday, she's to wash and dry the girl sheets and put back on the bed, load the dishwasher, but it's broken right now. Um, and after the table has been cleared, and so Tuesday she'll be my meal helper, Thursday she'll be my meal helper, Madison's her meal helper on Saturday, and Brayden will do some other days. So, so that is what the, her planner looks like. And I'll show you my son's. Let me just get to these are planners that I have bought throughout the years and I've never implemented them and I've never kept up with um, with keeping a planner and keeping a good schedule. And I think that's been part of <clears throat> a little bit of our chaoticness and a little bit of our what gets everybody um you know, attitudes when mom asks them to do stuff and not really knowing what to do and sitting around and waiting on mom and being a little bit lazy. And so this is our year of um, organization and our year of purging and, and just trying to get on a really good track with homeschooling again. Um, so this is my son's. I also let him write his out so he feels like it's not so much of a battle. So he does a lot of yard work and he also mows for our neighbor. So Monday he'll do, he'll mow our front yard. He'll be the meal helper. Tuesday he's got to take the garbage to the road. He'll do our side yards, mowing those and wash out the garbage cans, load the dishwasher. So uh, Wednesday he mows our neighbor's front yard and he'll clean our front yard and pull weeds. Miss Sue's backyard, our neighbor's schoolwork, load dishwasher. Meal helper, wash all the boys' sheets and put them back. Saturdays he works sometimes with his granny and papa. And every day he will, 
He's written down. He will take the garbage out, read his Bible, do his schoolwork, put away his laundry, and be awesome. Mom added that little last one on there because he is pretty awesome most of the time. So um, that's just a little way to keep them organized, and I, I let them choose what to write down. I said, what, what do you think you need to do every day? What Can you write that down and make sure that that gets done every day and that's your responsibility? Same thing with their schoolwork. They're going to be um, responsible for knowing what I should do every day because I'm starting to write it all out in the planner. So they should know what they have to do every day. They shouldn't have to wait on mom to do anything besides the stuff that we sometimes do together. So they should be able to take a little more responsibility for themselves this year and quit being so in, um, dependent on mom and be a little more independent. So I'm excited to do that this year and, and we'll just be doing some, some more random things to get ready for school this week. I'll show you some stuff I started doing last night. Um, this is my son's folder. Just some stuff he'll need this year with his drawing of the world. I found a random map we had laying around with some schoolwork. He's got presidents and vice presidents that he can continue to remember. The preamble to the Constitution they will be memorizing. And here is a book of stuff. This is to keep me kind of um, organized. This is something I'm gonna do with my son. My preschool son is matching the shapes. We got some cutouts that he'll match up. Some stuff we're gonna do with them today just to get them prepared and and on a better, um, get more used to schooling, doing school during the day. So that's some stuff I'm going to do with them. I love this little character treats um, paper. It's just some stuff that we can do together. Some nice character treats. Here's our American History 100 facts that we'll be going through and diving into with their history this year. Here's some sight words for my daughter. And some simple reading for my daughter. Here's all of our co-op stuff. I just got it all stuck in here, what we're to read every week. And I think that's it for now. Yep. So as I, as I need to add more stuff into there, I will, but that's just so when we sit down to school, I'm not looking, where's the one folder? Or, or where's that random paper I'm looking for? Where's our co-op stuff? What are we supposed to read today? So it's all right here in this folder and um, better organized. So... We will be excited to take you through our day and let you see what we're doing. I don't wear this and I don't want it. And don't push it to me. This is why mommy's got to get up before little kids because if I don't, I have to hit the ground running. Uh, that, 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 sorry, I've got to hit. Is that your John Smith? Do you know his name is John Smith? Yeah, his name is John Smith. From Pocahontas? Mm -hmm. How's your protein shake, Maddie? Yeah. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, make you oh, some cereal? No. Do you want to sit in your high chair so you can reach? No, no. Oh, the table's broken. Did you break it? What are you throwing? Mr. Mr. Isaac? Are you throwing stuff? Mama, fill that my are you throwing stuff? Hunter did? You didn't do it? 
Are you eating your cereal? Is it yummy? You need help? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Bye -bye. You don't need any help? Good morning, pretty Chloe. You can't tell us good morning? Why? Are you not awake yet? Morning, Brayden. You look about as thrilled as your sister when I told her good morning. Stop. So, Maddie Mae, what is it that you do every day to get prepared for your day? You got a you, you cleared off your dishes. Now what are you going to go do? Um, to brush my teeth and get dressed mm -hmm. and comb my hair. That's right, because Madison is five now and hers a kindergartner. So hers learning how to be responsible and be a big girl, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see you go do it. See you in a minute. Okay. Hunter, are you finished eating? Where does your food go? In the garbage. Huh? Ow! Well, can you take your food to the garbage, please, sir? Good job. Now what do you got to do? Get dressed. I will come help you. So everybody has brushed their teeth and gotten dressed and fixed their hair. And now I'm just letting the little ones play. Um, just getting them in the routine of what our school days are going to look like. In the past, I have kind of let them stay in their jammies unless we had somewhere to go. I didn't really have a, a schedule or a routine, so that is what we're working on today. Madison and Isaac are sitting here playing nicely in the boys' room. Believe it or not, we did clean up this room before we went to bed. It's another one of my goals is to have the house pretty much picked up so we can have a fresh start the next morning. And not have to get up and clean like we usually do. So I'm glad to have you guys following us along in our journey and hope we can keep it up and stay accountable. Find the red pentagon. The red pentagon. Good job. What about the orange square? Orange square. What about the green oval? You'll do it next, Hunter. Green oval. Give Madison back her paper, please. You can do mine, honey. You want to do one? Can you find the yellow star? Good job. Can you find the green octagon? Green octagon. What about the blue circle? Madison, let him choose. Red triangle. So a pattern, yeah, that's the move. you guys see the pattern of this one? This one is sad face, happy face, sad face, happy face, sad face. What would come next in this pattern? Happy. Happy face, that's right. Can you draw a happy face? Can you draw a happy face right here? Hey Madison. Can you draw I'll a draw happy face like next? This. Because that would be the next that comes in the pattern. Get up in your chair. Now here's this pattern. Moon, sun. Moon, sun. Moon, what would come next? This is the moon. This is the moon, see? No, this moon, is the moon. Moon, sun. This is uh, the moon. So what comes uh, next, Madison? Uh, What's wrong with your cars? Bah. Good job. Bah. So what about this one? Star, moon. Star, moon. moon. Star, moon. Star moon. Welcome Isaac, back. is it thundering? Is it thundering? Tell that thunder. Stop thunder. Stop thunder. Say, like, go away thunder. Did you tell it? 
You tell it. You tell it. Tell it. Stop, Thunder. So, with our trying to get back in the swing of things, I printed out a couple of just fun worksheets for Braden and Chloe to do. Just copying down the preamble of the Constitution. And where's your other sheet you did? Some facts about the U.S. Supreme Court. Some fun stuff we'll be learning about this year. I just thought to get warmed up and get back in the swing of things. Madison's working on writing her letter I and eating a bowl of cereal. We're just some JBQ and teen Bible study. Teen Bible quiz study. And probably start a new read aloud while they draw. By what miracle did Israel leave the land of Egypt? The parting of the Red Sea. Good. Does mommy help you when she does her parting hands? How did God persuade Pharaoh to let the Israelites go? I sent in ten plagues to the land of Egypt. Good job. What happened to the Egyptians who tried to follow the Israelites through the Red Sea? They all drowned. Who was the sister of Moses? Miriam. How did God change the bitter water of Mara into good water? Um, by showing Moses a piece of wood that flow in the water. Good job. What miracle did God perform for Moses at Rephidim? Uh, what for Mm-hmm. Whom? At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness 40 days. He was, he was in the wilderness 40 days, being tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. Jesus announces the good news. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 to Mark chapter 1, verse 15. After John was put into prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The, king, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Love your bunny. Jesus calls his first disciples. Mark chapter 1, verse 16 to Mark chapter 1, verse 20. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon Jesus drives out an impure spirit. Mark chapter 1, verse 21 to Mark chapter 1, verse 28. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to preach, teach. The people were amazed at his teaching. As soon as, after the sun had went down, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. Jesus, the whole town, the whole town gathered at the door. Jesus healed many who had various diseases. Yeah. Jesus healed many who had various diseases and drove out many demons. But Maddie, hush. They but, drove out many demons, but didn't allow the demons to speak because they knew who he was. Good job. I found this in your bedroom and it was unclocked. Oh, it's, oh, it's unclocked. It's unclocked. On clock. On clock. Yeah. Oh. And what does that mean? This means what time it is. What time it is? Look at this one. Well. Because they, that one doesn't have enough room. Oh. Um. Because this one has real time on it and that one doesn't. Really? And you see these? Yeah. They, this one is not changing like that one. Mm. And a pitch a number what they want wants to see. Oh wow. And both clocks and watches are different than it can be. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I needed to know that. You're so smart, Maddie Mae. Yeah. yeah. 
Chapter 1, There is No One Left. When Mary Lennox was sent to Misselthwaite Manor to live with her uncle, everybody said that she was the most disagreeable looking child. Guys, Chloe is not feeling well today. She's got some swollen glands. And so I just want to show you our go-tos when the kids don't feel good. So first and foremost, we use Young Living Thieves Oil. And I have just um, mixed that with the coconut oil and been rubbing it on her swollen glands. I also have the Thieves Cleaner, which I use in this spray bottle here, which I dilute the cleaner. It's constant, ultra concentrated. And I use that to clean my counters, not just when people are sick every day. Um, I wipe down the table and just spray throughout the air sometimes. Um, also use a probiotic when they're not feeling good. She's been getting honey a couple of times a day by the teaspoonful. And then elderberry syrup, which I make myself and just store in this um, container. Which I will link the ingredients of what I put in my elderberry syrup. It's supposed to be super packed full of vitamin C and nutrients to cut colds and flus in half and, and to prevent others from getting it. I also start running thieves in the diffuser um, to sanitize the air once I realize somebody's not feeling good so it doesn't spread quickly. I don't know if you have the same problem in your home when you have many children. When one of them gets it, it's like taking time bombs waiting on the rest of everyone to get it. Puddle splashing.